a dipole antenna for my, uh, well, it started out as a Mighty Mule gate opener. It started out as a Mighty Mule gate opener, and really all that's left is the motor and the arm over there. I had to redo the entire thing, and I've got another video on how I remade the controller. But today it's about making this dipole antenna uh, in order to run this uh, controller down here to you know open the gate and that kind of thing so anyway now I'm not gonna really talk about the calculations uh, for an antenna because uh, there's lots of that online people talking about this is a it's a half wave on each side dipole antenna a lot of the ones you'll see are quarter wave but I had the room so I'm gonna animate it uh, a half wave on each side so really it's a full wave um, antenna all right let's get into the shop now I'm making a full-size antenna so for a 433 megahertz, the length of each wire needs to be 13 inches long. So I'm just coming right here. Well, so 13 inches is right there. And then I'm going to make another one the exact same size. And this is, and this wire right here, it could be, you could use aluminum rod, you could use brass rod, you could use copper rod. Um, this is just uh, copper ground, it's 12 gauge copper ground wire. Like would come out of Romex, that's where this came from. It came out of a piece of Romex. Um, so that's what my wire is, and then I've got a PVC T right here, and I 3D printed some pieces uh, to go in there to hold these. If I didn't have a 3D printer, I would probably take a dowel and whittle it down until it would fit up in there, and then uh, just drill a hole through the middle of it. You could also, this is half inch, so you could take a piece of half inch pipe and put that in there. That would make it smaller and just kind of keep uh, doing things like that until you get it down small enough. But I think you're gonna, you'd have to whittle a piece of wood or a piece of plastic or something to go up in there and drill you a hole. But I just 3D printed these. I've got to run those through there. And I've got to run it far enough that when I solder it, I won't melt my parts. I'm just going to take some sandpaper and clean these in so the solder will stick better. Okay, so now these two 13-inch pieces, they're going to sit inside like that. Now, the, the length is important, and this wire that goes to the controller, um, you actually, until the, as long as they're close together like this, you don't count this length. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wire that I'm going to use to connect to the controller, I'm going to go ahead and tin the ends of it with a soldering iron here. I really like these Weller soldering irons for soldering heavy stuff like this. They put out a lot of heat quickly. They heat up real fast. Now before I solder this together, I've got to take into account my mounting, and, and it, mine, I just took a piece of half inch conduit and I welded it to a piece of steel that I can screw to my post. Now if you don't have a welder, and probably an easier way to do this all together would be to just put a piece of half inch pipe sticking out the end of this, drill a hole in your post and shove it up in there. But this is the way I chose to do it. So I've got to get my wire into this pipe so that it'll go into here where I have to solder it. Gotta be sure I get my collar on there.
I'm going to push it out the other side. And get my other one put on. So I'm going to look down through here and make sure that as I bring those, bring these ends in, ends into here, that they're not touching inside. Okay, and you can see, you can see down in there that I've got them separated from one another. Alright, and that's got that's got my antenna element there attached here. And all I gotta go do is hang it up. Alright, here's the dipole antenna. I don't even know if you can see these copper wires. Here's one here and goes out to the right there. And I got it mounted, it has increased my range by quite a bit. Um, I can get I can open the gate from way down the road now, about as far as I can see. Um, it'll open it and it'll open it from in the house. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.